Hi friends, happy Saturday. You are seeing this video on Saturday, but it is currently Thursday and I just got to WW. I'm gonna go in really quick and weigh in. It is about 10 a.m. So I have eaten, had coffee. I'm not really too concerned about the weigh in. It hasn't even been a week yet obviously since my last weigh in last Friday, but I wanted to let you guys know how my week went and kind of what I have going on. So my week went pretty, pretty well. I was a little extra hungry this week. So there were a couple of days that I had a little bit higher points just because I was a little bit hungrier than I had been previously those few days. So I still feel like overall I had a really good week of eating and I'm weighing in today because as you know, I'm headed out bright and early tomorrow morning to Vegas for my meet, meet up from my Facebook group. So if you're not on my Facebook group, we are over 9,000 members strong now, pretty close to 9,100 already. So head on over to Facebook. It's right there on the screen. Make sure you come over, join my group. It's awesome. Plus I did upload a video on my Facebook group talking about what's coming down the road for WW, the changes, giving you guys some information that I received about the new program. So you definitely want to check that out. So it's been a good week. It's sunny. It's cold. It's cold, you guys. It's 30 degrees, but it's sunny and that just automatically makes me smile and makes it a better day. So my week was pretty good. Let's see what happens when I hop on the scale. So I'll be back to share what we talked about this week at the workshop as well as my weigh-in results. Hey guys, welcome back. I am out of my workshop and I am actually headed over to Fred Meyer to pick up my groceries. I went ahead and ordered them online because I'm so busy. Before I head to Vegas, I didn't have time to shop. I'll film it though and you guys will definitely see it um, up bright and early on Saturday. So I realized that I said happy Saturday at the beginning. Um, Friday. You'll see this video tomorrow, today, which is Friday. So sorry about that. It's been a week. So the workshop was excellent. The topic was excellent. We talked about stress. And I know that there is all types of stress that we are under as human beings, as Weight Watchers, as moms, as workers, as wives, husbands. We are under all types of stress. But what we do with that stress can really affect or not affect our Weight Watchers journey, our lifestyle journey. So as far as stress goes, Again, there's different types of stress. There is stress that makes us eat, there's stress that makes us sad, and there's stress that just makes us not wanna to talk to anybody, do anything, just kind of stay holed up in our house. So I wanna talk about the different types of stresses and also what you can do to not let stress negatively affect your weight loss journey. So the first kind of stress is the kind that makes you eat. And we are there are different types of stresses. As human beings, we deal with stress a lot differently depending on who you are. So I know that sometimes stress can cause us to eat. I am not one of those people. When I am stressed out, I don't eat. I don't have as much of an appetite. I gear a little bit more towards a mix of being sad, but also not wanting to be out and doing things and just kind of wanting to hole up in my house. So we need to learn some tips and tricks to deal with stress so that it doesn't negatively affect not only our lives, but also our weight loss journey. So what you can do when you feel some stress coming on is breathe. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, let your stress just kind of melt away and that will help take your mind off maybe wanting to eat and really just allow your stress to kind of just melt away. You can also take a walk or do some physical activity. Doing some movement and getting those endorphins moving around in your body really helps with stress as well. I know for me, when I go to work out at Jazzercise, which you know I am loving, I'm going today actually, um, when I go to Jazzercise, I feel really good. And any stress or anxiety or frustration that I have during the day, it literally just goes away. And I enjoy my workout. And when I leave, I'm feeling tired, hot and sweaty, but I'm definitely feeling better and less stressed out. So breathe, do a little bit of physical activity, talk to a friend, call up a friend, message me, go on my Facebook group, gain some inspiration, go on connect, go on YouTube, watch channels talking about positive things like their weight loss or maybe a new recipe and do something that basically takes your mind off of the stress that you're feeling. Take your mind off of the stress so you can focus on the positive things in your life. Just don't let stress 
sabotage you and sabotage your weight loss efforts. Now, if you're feeling stressed and you are just aiming to go to that kitchen and have a snack, take a moment, take a five minute breather before you go and get some food. So if you are a stress eater, give yourself a few minutes to really see if that's what's going to do the trick for you. Chances are it's not going to relieve your stress, but is it going to temporarily relieve the stress that you're feeling? Maybe, but before you run to the kitchen and grab an unhealthy snack, because we all know we don't run to the kitchen for broccoli when we're stressed out, take a moment and really think about it before you maneuver yourself into the kitchen. Now, let's say that in five minutes, you still really want a snack and you really feel like that's going to help relieve your stress, then go have a snack. Do your best to make it a healthy one. Again, I know we don't run for the broccoli, but consciously think about it and try to make a healthy choice of a snack. The bottom line is don't let stress ruin your life and sabotage your weight loss efforts. There's a lot of things that you can do to help alleviate stress that don't involve eating or don't involve doing something that's detrimental to your body. So again, some tips, take a breather, take a big, deep breath of fresh air and really try to calm yourself down before you do anything else when you're feeling stressed out. Go on a walk, do some physical activity, and take five minutes before you run to the kitchen to get some food. All of those things should help not only alleviate the stress that you're feeling, but help you be healthier overall. So let's talk a little bit about my weigh-in. So as I mentioned, I had a good week. Luckily, it wasn't that stressful of a week. Now, I will tell you, I am feeling the stress today. I'm feeling it a little bit today with leaving bright and early tomorrow morning. I haven't packed. I still need to go get my nails done. I need to get some laundry done, pick up my groceries, fill my groceries out. I'm feeling a little stressed today, but not bad. And it is bright and it's sunny, so I'm feeling good, but there is a little bit of stress. So I'm going to take my own advice and just take a couple of deep breaths. That really seems to help just calm my stress down. So Although I'm stressed, I'm excited for our meetup. I'm excited to go to Vegas, to shop, to walk around, to see all of you and spend some time with you, get to know you. I am going to be taping and vlogging the entire trip. So you will be seeing that in an upcoming video. I'm really excited about that, you guys. I can't wait to share this whole entire trip with you. It's gonna be amazing. So when I stepped on the scale today, we are shy of my weigh-in, which would be tomorrow. I was actually down 0.2. So I'll take it. Not as great as maybe I would have liked, but I lost almost two pounds last week. I'll take another point two before I head to Vegas. Now let's go back to Vegas. My goal is to do my best to eat healthy, to make healthy choices. Am I going to stay on track and track all my food? Probably not. I'm in Vegas, guys. I'm in Vegas. I am planning on walking a lot. We are even talking about potentially going to the gym or doing some type of additional physical activity while we're in Vegas, but I'm not going to stress out and feel like I have to track everything and be accountable for everything when I'm in Vegas, but I am going to make conscious, healthy decisions. I'm going to save my weeklies for Saturday because that's the day of my meetup. So I'm going to want to enjoy myself at dinner. I'm going to maybe want to have an adult beverage. So I'm going to be saving up my points for that. But I'm going to Vegas with the goal, with the goal to not gain more than one pound on my trip. Now I'd rather maintain, that's the ultimate goal, but my secondary goal is to not gain more than one pound when I go on my trip. So when I weigh in next Friday, one week from today, when you're seeing this video, I am hoping not to have gained more than one pound. And I know that I'm going to have a few days to get myself back on track, which is my goal immediately Monday, because I fly out Monday morning, Monday, I'm back on track and tracking everything. So I'm just taking a tracking break for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday while I'm in Vegas. So let's see if that works out for me. I'm going to continue on with Jazzercise. I'm hoping to go a few times next week. I don't have as crazy of a schedule. Knowing that I was out of town, I didn't overbook myself as far as real estate goes when I return. I have a collab coming up that I need to film. I want to do my fall and Halloween baking videos. So I have a lot going on, but I'm hoping to get a few extra days of Jazzercise in when I return from Vegas. So that's my plan. I'm happy with my point two loss. I'm looking forward to taking some of these tips and tricks to alleviate stress. I want to hear how was your guys' week. 
Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? What's your thoughts on stress? What do you do when you're feeling anxious or stressed out? What do you do to alleviate that and have it not negatively impact your weight loss journey? Thank you guys for watching. Those of you that are coming to Vegas, I can't wait to hug each and every one of you. And those that are not, we will definitely be planning another meetup at some point, but I'm going to take you along with me via this camera on our meetup in Vegas. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload, thumbs up this video, and again, leave your comments down below. I can't wait to read them. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.